Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch, and welcome to part three of the Responsive series. So today we're going to be talking about the slide's main background image right here. So this is the slider that we were working with in parts one and two, and I've gone ahead and just removed the text layers just so we can just focus on the background for today. So let's go ahead and set up some images in Photoshop first. Today I'm going to show you two examples. One of a background image that's landscape size and another of a background image that's portrait size. So there are two things that we want to do with these images here. The first is we want to set them up for an ideal pixel size and the second is for an ideal file size. So for pixel size maybe we want this image to be full screen and maybe we want it to be nice HD resolution so that could be 1920 by 1080 pixels. So I'm going to change the width here to 1920 and then I'm just going to crop out the top part of the image so we can set the height to 1080. Okay so for the man let's go ahead and take a look at the size of this and it's actually quite large so to make sure that he fits inside our screen let's set the height to 1080 and then the width at 720 should be fine. And we can just fit that on the screen there. Okay, now let's go ahead and optimize the file size. So this image in particular here is actually quite large. It's almost four megabytes. And we want our web pages to load as quickly as possible. So for large images, for web pages, we really want to target maybe a size around 300 kilobytes. So a great way to do that in Photoshop is if you head up to File and then Save for Web and Devices, we have this quality preset here and then right down toward the bottom left it gives you a file size output estimate. So if we saved it at a quality of 60 it would be about 150 kilobytes. So we said about maybe 300 is okay. So let's bump the quality here up to about 85. And now we've got an uh, image size of 286 kilobytes. That's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm just going to keep the original. So I'm going to name this Man 2. And then for the plane, same thing save for web and devices quality 85 file size of 260 and let's go ahead and save that plain 2 okay so I went ahead and added those images to our slider here right over in the main background tab main background image I just click this media library button and then uploaded both of them and let's take a look at what these images look like on the front end of our website. So here we have the plane, and that looks pretty good. And here we have the man, and you can see most of his face is actually cropped out of view. So one of the options for this is over in the slide editor, if you head over from the main background tab to source settings, we could change the background fit here from cover, which gives us this view, to contain, which gives us this view. So next I've gone ahead and changed the slider's layout from auto to full width. And now you can see that the first image we had with the plane here is stretched and part of it is cropped out of view. So one of the options we have for this is Maybe if we wanted the plane to always be in view, so we could head over to the slide editor and in the source settings for the background position, maybe we could change that to right bottom. And let's just save the slide and take a look at what this would look like on the front end. And here you go. Now we have the entire plane in view. We have lots of people in parachutes as well. And this is a pretty good view for a full-width image, considering that 
parts of it is cropped out of view. So for the last thing I'd like to show you, I went ahead and switched the sliders layout back to auto. And if you take a look at the image here inside the slider, there's this guy toward the left. And if we view that in Photoshop, that guy is actually right here. And then there's another guy up here who's being cropped out of view. So what if we wanted all the guys jumping out of this plane to show up inside our slider? Well, to do that, we could match the slider's layers grid ratio with the image ratio right here. So if we head back to the slider settings and under slide layout, layers grid size, we can see this has a ratio of 1240 by 540. So to get a match, we could head back to Photoshop and we could resize this image to 1240 width and then the corresponding height would be 698. So let's go ahead and change our height for the layers grid size here also to 698. And save the settings. And now we should have the entire image. And you can see we have both guys and everybody jumping out of the plane is represented now. So those are just some of the options that you can use to optimize your images for your sliders and also to make them look great. So thanks for watching.